All right, what's going on, everybody? Dog Man Dan here, Warframe. So I want to talk about the uh, update 20.6.0 uh, in this video. I'm not gonna really showcase too much. I'm actually playing around with the new Endura, which is the new Tenno Rapier, Rapier, uh, if you will, and it's okay. It's basically our second one that we have. Um, we'll talk about it in another video when I finish with it, but. It's okay. I would like to have maybe seen a new stance to go with it to make it different than the other one that we already have. Rather than having a new machete stance called Cyclone Kraken be released today, which can be found uh, within the Grenier Fortress caches. So start farming through Fortress caches. Um, I understand that they re-released the machete uh, for about the next six days, really limited time release, and the new stance that's out there. Um, okay, cool. But honestly, like I said, there's a new weapon, maybe a new stance to go with that weapon, not a machete stance when I would have to say not very many people use the machete. They're fun from time to time, but they need a definite readdress, relook, rebuff, rebalance, whatever you want to call it. Um, so there's that. Also, uh, the Nadina armor set came out, which is all right. I haven't put it on a particular frame yet. Haven't figured out what frame I want to put it on, but I will follow up once I find one that I think really looks good with it. Just because of the way I am right now. There's a new Broca Sandana. I haven't even looked at the Sandana. Especially when I'm w running with Oberon. Because I've got the Sandana that I like for Oberon. And to me, nothing else works. Honestly, with it. That's just me. Uh, there is a new Inara's Noggle that came out. And there's a whole new set of Glyph Packs. For Nidus, Inaros, Octavia, Ivara, Maru, and Atlas. It's the Halftone Glyph Pack, if you will. Little comic book style. Um, a big thing that did come out in here is the clan contribution tracking. So now, as a warlord, we are able to right click on our clan members' names and see their contributions to the clan, uh, whether it be credits, platinum, resource contributions, whatever it is, as a clan member. Now, it's not retroactive, so you can't see anything that was past built you won't know but starting from now with anything that's not fully completed or anything new that comes in we can see who's put the resources into it and who hasn't which can really help out with clan management because if you're actually not helping then there might not really be a reason for you to be in the clan that's designed for players to help players just FYI keep that in mind um there's a new chat, including a max character indicator that's out there. A whole bunch of little fixes here and there. Um, you've got till May the 30th before they remove the Ash blueprint, the Vectus blueprint, and, or the Vectus Prime blueprint, the Ash Prime blueprint, and the Carrier Prime blueprint, if I if I remember that correctly. I think it's it, Vectus Prime. Vectus Prime? Sounds like it could be Vectus Prime. Um... They're going to remove those. Those will go into the vault. Okay? And that is as of May 30th. So you've only got like six days again to finish farming up all those parts and stockpiling them if you want to use them for future sales. Or at least, at the very least, going and getting a whole bunch of relics. Now, I've got a ton of relics that have these uh, particular items. Some, some I have 30 and 40 of them just because they've been around for so long. So I'm okay with that. I will do some farming because I do need to get some ducats, but, you know, there's that. Uh, also, on 30th, we know that Oberon Prime is now coming, the Oberon Prime Access. It's uh, obviously Oberon Prime. There's going to be glyphs for him, Prime Glyphs, the Silver and Aegis Prime, the Cybaris Prime. Uh, also, there's going to be a uh, Prime Sugatra, 
and a Prime Sindana. So we'll see how those goes. I'm not. Re those will be in the Prime accessories, the Sugatra and the Sindana. Um, so getting ready to do the farming. Yeah. I know a lot of people are probably thinking that I may buy the pack. I honestly haven't decided uh, whether or not I will put more money into this. Just to purchase Oberon Prime um, and his stuff. One hand I would like to. But on the other hand, I don't want to put out money for it. Because why should I, really? Uh, I haven't put out money, honestly, in this game in... Oh, I don't know. I'd have to say seven, eight months now when I first said I'm not really putting more money in it. And honestly, you're only giving me, uh, you know, a, a rehash of, of weapons and uh, a, uh, a frame. Now, don't get me wrong. I mean, I, I, I love my Oberon and I'm going to spend a lot of time in Oberon Prime, but is the value for me to buy it there, you know? I haven't even gotten my Banshee Prime stuff yet, all any of those items, to be honest. Um, just taking my time, farming them. I could go out and buy it and do it right away and, and then post a million things and, and try to get, you know, the money back on it, if you will, because that's basically what's going to happen, right? From everybody that does make money in terms of creators, they're going to go right out there and, and spam it all out there, but... I'm not really into wasting my money anymore. I have other projects that I'd like to um, further compensate things on, if you will, I guess. But we'll see what comes by Tuesday. Who knows? Who knows? I know it won't be till, like, Tuesday night that I'll make that decision. But, okay, I'm getting off tangent, as always. Um, so then there's a whole bunch of, like, fixes and stuff going on in here. Banshee Soundquake doing slightly less damage at lower frame rates, which was interesting. Uh, the Sancti Tigris health buff not working for clients. You know, just a bit here and there. I've got this all loaded up on the, uh, Nog Community Forums. If you will, if you want to go check it out, you can. Obviously, you can go over to the Warframe Forums. Uh, operators running out of the void energy in high FPS Captura. Uh, you know, so it's just a little bit of everything. I mean, the new weapon is pretty cool, like I said, but I was thinking that if you're going to release a new weapon, it would make more sense, again, to release a new stance with that particular weapon, so we have more than just the Vulpine mask that goes with it. I have a stockpile of Vulpine masks. I have actually eight of them just sitting there that I'm not using. I've accumulated them. A lot of them, interestingly enough. Um, and I do now have, I have one machete stance. Haven't tried it yet. Machetes are fun, but they're not a weapon that a lot of people are going to play. Just saying. I understand you're releasing it back into the wild for a couple of days on all that jazz, but still, it just really doesn't. I don't know. Anyway. So, yeah, that's about it for now. Uh, I'll catch you guys soon when I finished up with this uh, new Endura and put a real simple setup together for you. Uh, until then, thanks for tuning in.